What's up guys, this is me, Tech Newbie here, and I'm sorry for the lighting. Uh, I'll try to fix that next time, but right now we're going to focus on the uh, iOS 4, on the iPhone 4. We're going to take like the basic features and try to get everything covered here. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the wallpaper. Now the iPhone 3G and iPhone or iPod Touch 2nd generation do not support this. So go in settings, wallpaper, and here you can choose the lock screen and the home screen. You can choose from your wallpaper, camera roll, photo library. Camera roll is of course your photo uh, pictures and stuff like that. And the photo library is pretty much from your computer if you seek it from iTunes. So I'm going to take photos of my photo library. I'm going to take this picture and set it as my home screen. Okay. I'm going to select the other picture as my lock screen. Okay. So now when you uh, turn it off and turn it back on, you can see that the lock screen is different and the home screen is from what I chose. Just like that. Uh, another thing is the, the internet tethering. Now uh, some other countries have already had this feature, but for US, AT&T decided to let people have the internet tethering but it's on the 2 gigabyte limit and it's an additional 20 bucks so right now we're gonna look at multitasking which is you just double click on the home button and it gives you the list of recently apps that you open so I'm gonna check iBooks try to open up Winnie the Pooh but I can't so I'm gonna go back to notes and there's no loading so if I go to iBooks, you don't see that load. It's still right there where I left off. So let's go back to notes, and I'm going to show you the next feature, which is a, a new type of way of spell check. So I'm going to type in money or monkey. I'm not sure what I typed in. Okay, it's going to be underlined red. You just tap it once and then you're gonna get uh, options of different words that might relate to the misspelled word and you can pretty much choose from the list right there which is pretty nice so now another thing is uh, orientation lock which is located all the way to the left side and what this does is keeps your iPhone in a uh, portrait mode so if you're laying down you won't be obscured by the orientation Sadly, this does not work on landscape mode. So let's try to put this in landscape and try to put on orientation lock. And as you can see, it goes back to portrait mode, which is uh, kind of annoying considering that the iPad again has this feature to stay in landscape. But hopefully, an update will keep the iPhone at landscape mode when you turn on orientation lock. And as you saw before, there was an iPad iPod controls, which I can't show you because I'll. Uh, get copyright claims. Uh, try not to get too ahead of myself is the folders which you can store up to 12 apps and you can rename whatever you want. So if you want to rename it you just hold on an app and then you get the option to rename it and move your app. So I'm gonna put in a different name and you can see it works. So now if you want to remove an app you just gotta hold and drag out and if you want to move that app back in, you just hold it and just go over the folder. And if you want to make a new folder, just go over, drag and drop a uh, app over an app, and then you should get a new folder, and it should be renamed to whatever category those two apps are. So now let's go back to mail, and as you can see, all inboxes is added as a new feature, so you can see all your mail with just one not setting. And of course, you can always check it individually for your iPhone. And another thing is uh, the messaging app. Now, I don't know if it's working for you guys, but for me, it doesn't show the, um, the counter number. But I might as well show you how to activate it. So first things first, you just got to go to settings. Go to messages. And then select character count. And 
and so it doesn't show any character counts on my screen so I don't know if it's just just a bug or something but I don't know and right now we're gonna check the camera which has a five times digital zoom for the iPhone 3G and 3GS and all you gotta do is just tap on the screen and of course I believe the autofocus is also on video I'm not sure if it, that works on the 3GS so now you can uh, 5 times digital zoom And another thing is the spotlight search, so now you can search on the web and or Wikipedia, so I'm just going to put goggles, or whatever I put in, and I'll just put search webs. And I was going to search on your default browser, which you can change now to either Yahoo, Bing, or Google, all you have to do is just go to Safari and then search engine and then you can pick whatever searching engine you would desire so I'm gonna go back and search Wikipedia you can also do that but search web and as you can see it goes on to Bing mobile so that's pretty cool and that's pretty much it I forgot one feature was the passcode lock which you can use characters as your passcode and yeah that's pretty much it guys that's all the basic features you'll ever find and uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll post more iPhone 4 videos up by tomorrow. So, peace.